So St. Elizabeth is not a hospital, and we don't only serve Catholics. That's what everybody asks me right away. Uh, we've been around for 110 years. We started with four people doing uh, midwif midwifery. We're now 10,000 people visiting 20,000 Canadian homes a day, delivering care in the home. The future of healthcare is the home, the home spittle. We're gonna look back at hospitals and they're gonna be like what retail bank outlets are, or flight center. Remember flight center? No, you guys, I'm old. Okay, so, so I'm two months in. I came back to Canada after an incredible year learning from the Dutch and, uh, and I joined St. Elizabeth as their futurist. I think I'm the only futurist in Canada, let alone in healthcare. Uh, and we're, we're creating this future. We're focusing on the older adult population and, and a very, we're coming from a place of abundance of a future where they age with health, vitality and dignity uh, instead of pain, loneliness, dementia and sickness, which is what everybody talks about. So you guys, I have, I'm from consulting, so I have to do a two by two. This is from McKinsey. But basically, most organizations, and I do a lot of helping health organizations try to do innovation, uh, they all kind of largely are working on the core, kind of innovating for today, which is really hard to do, and we do terrible at that in Canada and around the world. My team doesn't do that. St. Elizabeth has been doing innovation for 25 years. We've had the role called innovation for 25 years. My team works on Horizon 2 and 3, which is either, you know, Horizon 2 is kind of innovations that evolve the business model from the core, so get paid differently, uh, or bring a completely new capability, like driverless cars or AI or blockchain. Or we innovate in Horizon 3, which is creating completely new markets nobody even imagined. And our older adult population is going to create new markets we can't even conceive of. Diapers, baby food, McDonald's, suburbs, none of those existed until the baby boomers aged into them. So what's coming? That's what we're here to build, Canada's number one aging company. So that's my team's scope. Within that population, uh, uh, we work in six areas. So here's my call out. We want to work with wicked, smart, amazing people who want to innovate in these six spaces. So we want to build completely new villages, cities, communities for old people to thrive, dementia villages, autism villages, villages for seniors with very little income so they can have a house. The second one is basically being a consumer player in the home, smart homes, smart cities for aging, all the smart technology in the home. We've got about 10 experiments underway there. The third is we want to blow up the whole model of home care that, you know, a nurse comes to visit you at home and gets paid by the visit. Uh-uh. We're going to get paid in a completely different mechanism. So we're doing business model innovation. The fourth is we want to work on um, the caregiver of the old person at home. Nobody talks about them. We have an entire new business in the consumer markets called Eliz, E L I double Z dot com. Uh, for caregivers, we have an insurance product that we're selling to employers. Our customers are all in the US right now. We want to reinvent dying and aging. We might be a funeral company one day. Um, so reimagine the whole experience of death and reinvent it for Canada. And then finally, we want to build the workforce that's ready for an aging population. Uh, when the boober, boomers were, uh, had, were born, there were like 10 pediatricians in the world, and then suddenly there were 400,000. We don't have that many geriatric in the health workforce, and they don't need to be doctors. So that'll be us. So that's our work. I've been there two months, so I've built a minimally viable innovation system, which is basically what's our you know, sausage factory to go from thousands of brilliant ideas and companies we're meeting to scaled up to market solutions that are gonna drive our business and evolve us out of our core to the future. So we have a methodology, we have tools, we have stage gate, all the typical innovation stuff. I've got a team of four, but really a team of 10,000 um, that does this work. We have about 20 projects in our pipeline, uh, and that's about the, same, the right amount, because for every 20 we work on at the front end, one will come out. That's our, our plan. And then finally, I cannot meet with a lot of people. All of you guys are calling me. I, I can't do it, I'm just a human. So we have an open source model to come meet our team. 
go to our website. If you have a company or you want to be our partner, there's an intake form we need to triage. I can't do it personally. We have a whole team. Or come to our open breakfast. So we do a breakfast club. Again, reference from the 80s. No? OK. Uh, we don't play the song the whole time. From OK. Anyway, every other Friday from 8 to 9, you got to eat breakfast. It's free. Come meet our team. Meet other people, just chat. We had a great one last Friday. We had a former health minister from one of the provinces showed up. Ministry of Health showed up. It was awesome. Um, so on the first Friday, we're at our downtown innovation space. And the third Friday at our head office uh, out in Markham, which is a metropolis. Thank you.